one last shot to stay in the competition. All of our remaining contestants from anywhere in the world are eligible. There are four spots left. At this point, it's anybody's game. Chance. Making the final 16 is Philippines. <laughs> good, good, <man>. <laughs> What does it mean to you right now, representing one of the most, as you can tell, enthusiastic nations when it comes to Miss Universe? What does this mean for you? Well, Steve, it's such an honor. Um, it means the world to me. It means the universe to me. And I can hear the entire Philippines screaming for me all the way from here. I love you, Philippines. Thank you, Philippines. basically have to surrender yourself to the ocean. When you catch your first wave, you just feel so victorious. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, we've always lived close to a beach. We were always wakeboarding, scuba diving. That's something that's just been embedded in me. Recently, I opened my own coffee shop on Shargao Island in the Philippines, and I'm so proud. I feel like I've really grown into a new woman since starting this business. And hopefully that inspires people to have a goal and work towards that goal. Philippines! Big crowd favorite with the Philippines here tonight. This is very simple again, a metallic with a little bit of those uh, marabou feather details at the hemline. Curvy, beautiful. Just enough skin showing. Really stunning. Okay, so I'm here to comment about uh, Rachel Peter's performance on the Miss Universe 2017 pageant and uh, on some of the highlights uh, for the event. Now, this is my first time to do a comment 
on a really bad year. As I am not a fashion expert. I will not um, put myself on video anymore because um, I've been down with flu since Sunday, Manila time, and um, I, I will just comment on some of the highlights of Rachel's performance and some of the highlights of the event as well. Okay, so just like what I said, I'm not a pageant expert. This is just my point of view as a man watching the pageant. And um, I've been connected to the fashion industry for a while, so I think I could give some opinion uh, some opinions on how she performed. Anyway, so here we go. I think Rachel did very well representing the Philippines. She acted, well, she is very finesse, very beautiful, very well-spoken, and I think given the chance that she has, you know, been chosen as one of the top five, I believe she will ace all the questions. Um, she's done very well with this first part when she was chosen as part of the wild card. I think Rachel expressed herself so good. Um, it's very candid, very natural, and um, the way she walked on the stage, it was great. Now here on the swimsuit competition, I think she was very, very good. She's bubbly, she walks confidently, um, and her smile is so beautiful. Her hair, hair is bouncy, and um, yeah, I think she did very well. Her body is amazing. It was a great pose at the end. Okay. Okay, here was the moment when she was chosen as one of the top 10. Um, wifey and I were so excited. She was here with me at home. She was taking care of me because as down went through, we were able to watch it in Fox. And this video was amazing. It was good to see the other side of her. It's good to find out that she is an independent woman she can do things that she wants to do she's brave enough to conquer the waves when she's surfing and to see her like and to know that she owns her own business means that she's a woman who is capable of doing things conquering um, any challenges it's very difficult you know to have your own business I like this video so much and um, yeah it showed a different side of her okay so um, this is her performance on the evening gown competition I thought she was very graceful she was very finesse very beautiful she walked so confidently um, her dress um, shows just right amount of skin. Um, I thought the silver is very nice, but I was hoping to see her in a more colorful gown. Like, I don't know, I think it was Jamaica was wearing a yellow gown. And when she came out of the stage, I thought, wow, yellow is just so refreshing to see on stage. But yep, Rachel's gown was very nice. The touch of the feathers make it a little bit softer because the metallic or the silver, you know, make it a little bit stronger. But yeah, it was so nice. She wore it very well. She did The, wear, the, the dress did not wear her. Um, I think she did a very solid performance. The thing is, you know, there's just one thing that I noticed. Her face, she only has one expression. She was smiling all throughout. I don't want to compare her with Pia, but Pia have like 100 other expressions on her face when she walks on the stage. You know what? 
I kind of saw that with Miss South Africa. Um, she has a different expression on her swimsuit, on her evening gown. She changes her face. But yeah, I think she has a lot of personality and I think the judges saw it. So yeah, but this is Rachel. She's a different person and um, she has a different style in carrying herself. And I think it suits her very well. And overall, it's still a very solid, very good performance. Yep, so I guess that would be my review for Rachel's performance. I'm still very proud of her. She did a very great job. She did a great, great job representing the Philippines. And um, I just congratulate her. It was so nice to see her representing well the Philippines and yep it makes us all proud congratulations Rachel